Hey, what's up guys? It's Rogue, Mass Tactical. Out here today doing some training. Got the Badlands Camp Axe. I'm gonna take it up. Uh, do some uh, basic fire making and some uh, shelter work to give you guys a, a good in-depth review of the axe. And uh, ultimately just getting out here doing some training guys. So I will uh, put you guys back on and you'll get to follow me around as I make my way through the mountain here. And uh, once we get to the campsite, we'll gear down and get to work. So I'll see you guys in a minute. As you guys can see, I had a really hard time getting up that, and it's not because it's that steep. I mean, it's pretty steep, but it's been raining for days, and like the top five inches of dirt is just completely mud. So everywhere you put your foot, you just keep sliding. So don't be afraid to get down on your knees. and uh, do some crawling, utilize the trees that are actually secure, make sure you're grabbing secure branches to uh, pull yourself up. Survival situation, you might not have a choice. So you gotta make the best of it and embrace it. I started down there. I don't know if you can see my Jeep from here, the road, but it's a little ways down the hill there. And uh, I'm going up over this mountain to uh, to get far, far enough away that I can do some fire training and some shelter training stuff. Uh, this is National Forest. I'm trying to evade all the main trailheads and any potentials of hikers or anything like that. So, situational awareness guys, be aware. There could be people out here hiking, I don't know. Almost there. Oh, finally. 
Uh, finally made it to the top, guys. Oh, oh that sucked. All right, let's do some scouting, find us a good campsite, get started with some basic uh, shelter and fire making. Hey, what's going on guys? Finally made it to the top of the mountain where I was shooting for today. Um, looks like we got some pretty level ground up here. Um, not too much surface space to work with up top. It's kind of more of a, a pinnacle than it is a, a, a flat space. Um, so not a whole lot to work with, but I think we got enough here to, to get started and get a basic shelter set up and work on some fire skills. Um, went ahead and grounded the gear. This is the pack that I hiked up with. This is my Eberly Stock G4 operator. This is a massive heavy duty pack, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen my review on it, be sure to check that out on the website. This here is the uh, new GoPro rig that I've got. It's a chesty harness. This is what I used uh, to get you guys some of the action shots as I was hiking up the mountain. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get grounded and get to work. Yeah, so the primary reason I came out today is to give you guys an in-depth review of our new Badlands Camp Axe. And uh, just wanted to actually get out and give it a good field test to show you guys what it's really capable of. It's made out of solid hickory. Uh, which is perfect for hard bushcraft use and also uh, hand forged head i'll dig into the the type of steel and everything a little bit later um, but let's uh, put this thing to work and show you guys what it can really do all right guys so i've picked my campsite already um already cleared out a little bit of the debris and everything but uh, basically i'm just going to do a little small lean to from this tree to this tree and uh I'm gonna lean some stuff back this way and then I'll be able to put a fire right here up front and uh, if I've got time might might build a little fire reflector right here just depends um, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, uh, looking for a ridge pole I'm probably just gonna use this one here that I just cut down for the ridge pole and uh, start getting some pieces to go on the back side so keep watching
All right, guys, so I've pretty much got the framework of the uh, lean-to built. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start thatching some stuff up. I cut down this tree over here. I'm going to go ahead and start using the limbs to thatch up the back and uh, just add some water protection. And uh, like I said, it's not really going to be meant for long-term sustainment. This is just a temporary uh, little lean-to to get me through the day in case it starts raining on me because it looks like it might. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up, then we'll get started on a fire. Alright guys, so I got the shelter pretty much done. Got it all thatched up, as good as I need to for today anyway. Um, it did, it's starting to look like it's going to clear up a little bit, so I'm not too worried about the rain today and I'm not going to be out here too long. But, I got plenty of, plenty of cover to keep me as dry as I need to be for today. I might come back up here later on and and uh, patch this up some more and build on to it. I don't know. Depends if I come back to this spot or not. But anyway, got the uh, got a tarp down. Got a little wool blanket over top of it to kind of muffle some of the the uh, crackling sound. It's a pretty loud tarp. Um, got that down for some comfort. Uh, got a space cleared out here. Now I'm going to uh, start working on a fire. So I uh, took the blouse off because got pretty sweaty and cold and wet coming up through here because uh, it's really wet and rainy um, so I took that off sun starting to come out starting to get a little dry uh, so I wanted to take that off let it dry out let my shirt dry out um, so the sweat doesn't get to me uh, on the way back out so uh, let's get a fire going and I'll see you guys soon All right, guys, so my GoPro uh, SD card got full, so I had to switch to the cell phone uh, to shoot what little video I've got left to do. Uh, but we're down to uh, the fire now. I've already got a base laid for my fire here. Did some batoning and split down some wood and uh, make some finer tinder. And uh, we'll get some sparks going and we'll light this baby up. Uh, and then it'll be time to kick back and eat some chow and uh, relax for a little while and enjoy it so I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit all right guys just wanted to go over my fire kit really quick I keep a little bag in my pack just specifically for fire purposes and uh, I keep everything wrapped up but um, as we do laundry I'm always collecting lint because that makes for a very good fire starter burns really really fast I've also got a uh, 9 volt battery and some steel wool and then I also keep a bag full of cotton balls a little bit of toilet paper um, and then of course I've got uh, two lighters fire steel or ferro rod some stormproof matches and um, some wet fire if it's really rainy out this stuff works very very good to uh, get a fire going if it's wet the only challenge at that point is finding dry wood to burn
Hey guys, so to review a little bit on the Badlands Camp Axe, um, I, I didn't think I would use it quite as much as I did, but after I figured that it um, figured out that it really, really eats through trees, this thing, uh, I mean, even over my, my handsaw on some occasions, um, I would prefer to use the axe, and this is really good for chopping off the limbs for the thatching that I put on the back of my lean-to here. Um, you know, handsaws are, are good when you need to get that, that clean cut, um, whether if, if you're making a, a chopping block or something like that, you want to get a good clean flat cut. Um, but the axe is, is tremendous overall. Um, very good quality axe. No cracks or chips in the handle or uh, the head or anything like that. It uh, definitely held up to the expectations. A little dirty, but that's what it's all about. Getting out here and, and uh, using and abusing all your gear. You don't never know what you really need until you get out here and and train and um, put it through the test you might you might get out here and find out that a lot of your gear isn't quite up to par as, as what you would think it would be uh, especially if it's meant to uh, you know save your life um, so test your gear guys get out here and train get out here and test your gear and uh, just embrace it uh, it's what this life's about you want to uh, to get out here and and go through as, as much stuff as you can and make it as hard as you can um, that way, whenever the time comes that you're actually ready and capable of handling yourself in the wild, uh, if, if the need be, um, whatever scenario you guys are preparing for, it's almost always going to be a combat scenario. Um, whether it's economic collapse, uh, martial law, foreign invasion, you know, whatever, whatever scenario you guys are preparing for, every single one of them has one thing in common, and that's everything afterwards is going to be a combat scenario post. So... And the reason being is because people are going to be doing the exact same thing. Everybody's going to be wandering around, you know, looking for stuff to steal, looking for people to hurt. Uh, if you look like a target or look like a threat to them, they might try to kill you. They might try to take the things that you have. So you've got to have the knowledge and the skill sets to protect yourself and protect your families during these times. Because if you don't, you're just going to end up, you know, another statistic. So um, I'm going to go ahead and eat some chow got my pesto pasta here heated up ready to go so sit back relax eat some food then uh probably uh go ahead and pack back up and get ready to head out so i'll catch you guys later this is a crkt eating tool pretty cool little guy here it's a spork combination it's also got some some uh, bolt sizes up here if you needed to unscrew something and a little carabiner to hook onto your packs nice little tool to have really nice out today i thought it was going to be a little bit more rainy but you know either way whether it's raining sunny snowing whatever the whatever the weather is get out here and train guys you know the probably the worse the better because you know you want to you want to train for the worst situation that you can possibly put yourself in and it doesn't get much shittier than coming out here in the snow and the rain and you know hiking up a you know two mile high mountain and uh You'll, you'll really start to understand how just how sh out of shape you are and um, understand what you need to really prepare for because once you get out here and do it, you, you'll really see where you're weak at. And from there, you can fine-tune on your skill set. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up eating and get packed up, and uh, I'll see you guys. Hey, guys, what's going on? Just got packed up, ready to head back out, get back to the house, got to get back to... To work later today uh, couldn't do a full day of training unfortunately but came out got some good shelter making uh, and fire making skills training in and um, got to review the the badlands camp axe got to test out some other gear and uh, overall it's been a good day of training so i encourage you guys to get out here and do the same time to hump this big ass pack back down the mountain and i'll see you guys back at hq